Hey, what is it up, guys? This is Syed Bagan Mastermind, and welcome to a new video, guys. So in this video, I will be giving you guys the manual camera app. So using this app, guys, you can be able to actually play along with the manual settings. If you want to play with those settings, and if you want to have a very good UI like a DSLR effect in your Android smartphone, then this app is for you, guys. So um. Watch this video fully. I will be showing you the app's interface, how it actually looks like, what are the new features that is available in this app, and how it is actually being uh, rated as one of the best paid app in the Play Store. As well as, I will be giving you guys the pro free uh, pro version for free. If you watch this video fully, guys, I will be sharing you the download link as well. So if you are new to my channel, please do hit subscribe. If you like this video, please do hit like and do share it with your friends and family, guys. And comment below if you want me to make some other videos uh, like this for you guys. Let's just get into the video. Hey guys, so as I have said, I will be showing you a comparison of the stock Android app that has been given in my Android smartphone as well as the uh, manual camera app and how they both perform actually. So let me open my stock camera app to actually show you that what and all or the settings I am getting and why I prefer to go with that manual camera if you actually want to play along with the manual option so here in front of me i have my android smartphone realme narzo's manufactured box uh, i will be taking a shot of this with certain settings that i can able to play with so let's just go through it so i have currently i have the stock camera app opened in my screen and uh, let's just check we have video option we have photo we have portrait we have 48 megapixel option as well as more so uh, the thing what I am talking about is the pro export which means it gives us the ability to actually play along with the stuff manually so this thing is actually available in that manual camera if your stock camera doesn't have this setting you can always go for it or if you don't like what they are given or if it is limited you can also prefer that so let me show you what actually we get with the stock camera and what we can actually go with that particular and smartphone so we have stuff like um, oops let me just yeah we have the exposure option where we can actually reduce and increase the exposure works pretty good let me just stabilize my camera first and let's start doing it so we have the exposure option yeah this looks perfect now and let's go to the auto focus so people always want to do manual focus mainly while they are recording even if the uh, these manufacturers give the manual focus option but people always want to play with the focuses while they are recording that is the particular option most of the android smartphone apps are missing like you can see the android smartphone is quite clearly adjusting the focuses and all with the stock camera app but um, while recording i cannot actually able to do it so that is one major drawback with this particular stock camera app so let's go to the white balance here we have 2700k which means yellowish let's go higher to 4000 which gives us natural white ambient if you check this corner comparing to this the whiteness is pretty uh, good and if you go higher than that it will give you the purplish look because uh, it, it's like the lesser the value we are going with sodium vapor and the higher the value we are going with mercury vapor in between is the perfect pure it should be somewhere around 4000k to 5000k i will say let's go with 5000k and uh, see even if i manually adjusted the focus uh, this thing changes and let's play with the exposure a bit 
yeah perfect so let's go to this shutter speed here it has 1 is to 2000, 1 is to 500, 300, 350, 150. This thing works if this shutter speed plays a major role while if you have the slow mo option given in your Android smartphone. If your Android smartphone doesn't have the slow mo option, then this option won't work on those particular smartphones. So let's just leave that. Let's go to the ISO. ISO is similar to that. It also plays with the camera's uh, exposure. So let's just keep it max for now. So this is for now. And other than that, we have manual zoom. First thing is it actually supports two different ro rotation modes even the stock camera also but the interface itself is very good that is something I like with this particular um, app so here we have a detailed um, stuff stating that uh, what is the memory we actually have what is the focus that it has actually set now and we do have the uh, video resolution what we can actually able to record we actually can able to do that in stock camera also but it is hidden inside settings so let's just select 4k for now and uh, for 4k let's go to the exposure Selected. Here we have multiple focuses auto focus, macro shot, focus lock. Let me go to focus lock and uh, oops. So, first I have to manually focus it like whoa, that's very neat. So, I like this particular uh, this particular point, even if I close, it doesn't change much. Even if I move my smartphone, yeah, the focus stays where it is, it doesn't move. It's go to auto white balance. We don't get that K value here, but we have a lot of options like shade, twilight, cloudy day, close end. Let's go with manual. I think manual we have that particular thing. Yeah, white balance, the yellow is not correct. Let me adjust it to the perfect yellow, what I'm actually seeing. Uh, somewhere around 5, 4,000, 4,000 it looks, 4,000 to 4,500 it is neat and here we have scene mode like whether we are recording, recording portrait, landscape, night or night portrait or theater, beach, snow, sunset, oh that's a lot of option like steady photo, fireworks, party, party, candlelight let's just select for steady photo and let's take a shot on the camera now let's check the camera we have the megapixel option here my camera has a 12 megapixel for now and similar stuff we have like scenes we can set let's go back to the camera and you see everything stays where it actually is it doesn't move very much and that is what I like about this particular app let's just reduce it yeah perfect now let's we can able to and we do have the zoom option here 10x that also works and uh, in addition to this this interface gives us multiple grid options like narrow grid wider in addition to that this option gives us multiple grids like narrow grid wider grid and all and we do have flash option which also comes with that particular thing we can keep the flash on we can keep it off we have the timer and we can able to change the camera also like this one so here I have to again change the focus and everything here so uh, that's all for this particular app guys so again this man focus let's go to focus and oops go to focus and yeah perfect 
सो आई होप यू ऑल लाइक दिस वीडियो गए सो प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू मास्टर माइंड चैनल एंड द डाउनलोड लिंक फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर एप इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो दिस इज साइड बैक ऑन मास्टर माइंड गाइज स्टेट यून बाय बाय सी यू ऑन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो